What's up everybody, it's Strange Hughes and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. I appreciate you. Today, I'm just gonna be showing you guys a few of my favorite hairstyles. Now that my locks are shoulder length and they're holding on strong, I like to, you know, jazz it up every now and again with a few different looks. Now, the first look I'm going for is a half up, half down. Now, this is the way that I do it if I'm looking for a little bit of tautness, tightness to really give my face a snatch effect. So I'll put my hair in a ponytail at the top and then I'll braid up the sides making sure that I'm not braiding too tight but I just want to get a nice crisp little snatch. You see that snatch right there? When you zoom in you see it's kind of pulling my face back arching my eyebrows. I like that. So once I'm done braiding up the two braids, making my face look nice and snatched, I'll put it in a little ponytail. And I like to frame my ponytail with a piece of my other lock to hide the rubber band. That's just something I like because I just don't like the, the color. I just don't like the way that black stands out against my brown hair. And there's the final look. She's cute, she's jazzy. Now for the second look, I like to keep those same method with the braids to give my face like that snatched arched look. And I'll do two rotating ponytails just to keep it nice and taut. Then I like to wrap the hair around the ends to create a space bone effect. This can be frustrating. It is not simple every time. Some days it comes out flawlessly, other days it's just not looking that great like this one was giving me problems but you know with a little bit of zhuzh here and there and tucking and fixing you'll get something that looks like like this again snazzy jazzy we're loving it so my next look is a bit more complicated even complicated for me these are my flat twist updo ponytails and it's really just so the hair behind my head or the hit the back of my head is scooped up as well but looks kind of intentional instead of just pulled up so I like it to look a little decorated all I can do is flat twist I'm not much of a braider I'm more of a platter but you can see that I'm gently scooping up the hair and tucking it because this is my go-to method this is all I really can do and I like to make the ponytails high on the top of my head, leaving out a little antenna for some fashion, you know, a little trendiness. And these, I leave messy. I leave them like they are, because they're cute. They're very funky, very freeing, very much, you know, out on the town, we're having a good time. The part in the back doesn't have to be perfect, but you can just check it out, make sure it doesn't look too irregular. Now this is like my favorite hairstyle that I just created one day when I was looking for something different, something jazzy, because I liked hair falling in my face. If y'all have noticed, I kind of like hiding my edges so I don't even have to bother with them. So this style I created on the fly is about to be a signature staple look. Again, I'm wrapping hair around the rubber bands or behind the scrunchie because I just don't like the way that shows up in pictures and on camera so you can see here's the look feeling cute feeling funky feeling very much left eye tlc i don't want no scrubs yeah that's me so i'm showing you the takedown because i like to take my hair down very gently i know when i'm fast forwarding it it can look like i'm being rough but I'm not. And here are two basic half up, half downs. I wouldn't dare show y'all those as if they were actual styles because we all know the half up, half down. So my take on the half up, half down has always been some ponytails with some in the back. I just kind of like the way ponytails frame my face. I like balance. I like my hair to either be pulled back and up or to be out to create like a look of volume. So this is another one of my favorite styles and I don't do my edges often unless my hair is pulled back like here. And look at that movement, look at that body. So 
So my last look is this flat twisted half up half down situation. I hardly do this but I kind of do this for like maybe a special occasion where I want to look very fancy or I want to look a little bit more classy. I want to look a little bit more kept without it being ponytails or half up half down. This is my faux sophisticated. Well, that, excuse me, that's an inside joke. This is my sophisticated look where I pull my hair back and I braid everything back and I have a little bit of hang time. So it's just a very chill and classy ladylike hairstyle that hardly gets done because it, you know, it's a lot of tension in this hairstyle, but it's cute. It's cute. Yeah, it's cute. So here's the final look, body movement. So here I'm just showing y'all again, take down. I'm very gentle, I promise. It just looks rough because the tension on my scalp is just too much sometimes. I love a little scalp rub after the fact. And this is my favorite style, as you all know. Your girl loves her loose, flowing, natural lock look where I just don't have any tension anywhere. So yeah guys, those are my six favorite hairstyles that I'm doing right now. I do have a few more that are a little bit more intricate, a little bit more time consuming, but I wanted to show you some quick ones that I can do in a matter of 30 minutes like all of those hairstyles are done in 30 minutes so thank you everybody for watching this video please like and subscribe for more content like this let me know down below what your favorite style was and i'll see you next time peace